Yeah baby, welcome to another exciting episode of Real Excitement. Today I'm sitting with Adam Waits and we're talking snook or green mackerel or spotties for those of you that are overseas. Well, how's it? I'm Adam. Uh, green mackerel, one of my favorite fish. Uh, if not my favorite fish to target. And uh, to eat. Yeah, to one eat as well. Tea. It's awesome to chow, no, like wow. Smoking is probably my favorite thing to chow. We're going to be eating well tonight. Uh, Grain and burgers, very, very similar to what we call a king mackerel, which is actually an Australian Spanish mackerel. 100%. Not an American king mackerel, but very similar. Uh, great eating throughout the family. Uh, spoons, live bait, traces, etc., etc. One method of catching them is on these little things. And there have been other uses uh, where guys have brought in stuff like bass lures and stuff and it's worked great yeah. for snook. Strike pros mainly, but... Yeah, strike pros mainly, other kingfisher rattlers, and look, they've yeah, done their job. Clark spoons, the guys yeah. like them. Um, it's, it's all a small profile, trying to match that small bait that snook eat. And, but I think we found the lure. Definitely, yeah. My biggest problem with those lures you mentioned is they only swim half the time. With these, they're swimming, it's 100% and it's just that beautiful size you want. There is bigger sizes, we're using the three and a half inch size, uh, also 90 millimeter for us in the rest of the world, not in America. Yeah, and yeah we, we say 90. Yeah, we yeah. say 90 millimeters and we also got the five and a half inch, which is it's the big, big boy. That's the big boy. So guys, you understand these are crazy lift to swim deep at fast speeds. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I think that's the advantage actually. When you have a couple of oaks on the water, after the first guys ended up hooking up, you can see how the guys surround him, no snook go down, and then that's when the steep lift comes into play. And really, it counts when no one else is catching, you're still in the game. Snook are doing their usual bullshit where they will only eat one thing. I go take this wherever I go. If I'm going to go fish for tuna, I pull this on the way to fish for tuna. Um, if I fish okay. for snook, I use this every time. So you're starting off with starting this, off with this every time. first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening. Uh, <laughs> if there's a fad around, you, what, or yeah. whatever, like yeah. some floating action with some dories. That's it. I see you have one that you've already used properly. Yeah. And so uh, so that's the candy, and that's just being demolished. Eh? Yeah, there's I witness. That's Kuta, that's Snook, that's everything. The Dorries. <laughs> so. Snook are doing this morning to this little Yuzuri crystal minnow. Let's see how long this takes. Five, four, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it won't be long. So, there you go. Might as well carry on counting, Andrew. The whole case in North Coast has Snook. Winter and summer. Winter, and summer. It's only them and tuna we get here winter and summer. So we really, yeah. really, really love the species. Yes, and so much fun in action. And they jump out the water. And, like everyone I've spoken to who's been to Australia and fish for both say very, very similar to a spotted mackerel. I know they don't do a lot of trawling. They there. don't do a lot of trawling. Uh, I, I think the guys in Australia tend to use like whole pilchards. Yeah, yeah. And whole said, like dead red eye and stuff. And I think a small lure and a fillet would work better, but I don't know. It's a, but that yeah, it doesn't seem to work as well here. Maybe it's just a different size of bait fish that uh, those yeah. fish are eating. Now our fish are eating small sprats most of the time when they're wild. If anyone in Australia is watching this, let us know in the comments below why you guys don't trawl small lures for those bodies because I reckon you save you a lot of time. Eh? Yeah, jeez, I'd love to see. Maybe we're getting completely wrong. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, yeah, for some reason, they don't like big baits here and they prefer the smaller baits. And most of the time, if you're not catching them, it's because your bait's not small enough. So, you can not get these in South Africa. Yeah, can't even get them here. Yeah. If you are very, very, very lucky, you might go to some old tackle shop somewhere on the coast and find one hanging out. That would be awesome. If you do that and find one, please yeah, I let, us know. Know. let us know. Yeah, I would be keen to see that. You can off order off Amazon. Remember, these are quite expensive. Or you order off eBay and the guy disappears. 
So, or the guy doesn't pay your custom fees or whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So, I would recommend go with someone like Tackle Direct. Okay. I go with someone on Amazon. Uh, trust your seller. June, July coming up. And one of my favorite teasers for fishing we've got the Dargo, we've got the Beck, we've got the Muscle Cracker coming up from the south. Uh, we're going to be bottom fishing a lot. Uh, we've got the Wahoo on the shore, we've got the Tuna on the shore, we've got the Tuna up and down the north coast. Uh, we've got the last remaining big cooter. We've got soup everywhere. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Guys, if you caught the fish, let us know in the comments below.